In this video, I want to show you how to take a frequency distribution and compute a mean, uh, and we'll do a standard deviation for the frequency distribution. Um, some problems ask you to do this, and one thing about a frequency distribution is you don't actually have the real values of the frequency distribution. So if you look at this one right here, we know that the temperature 40 to 44, like that class, has one value in it, but we actually don't know what the value is. Like it could be 40, it could be 44, it could be like 42, you know, it, it could be anything between 40 and 44. So when you're doing these problems, you don't have the real data, but what we do, or at least, you know, what StatCrunch and other technology does, is it assumes that the class midpoint is actually your value. So this is actually a way to get kind of an estimated mean for a frequency distribution. Um, and then you can actually compare, uh, a lot of problems actually ask you to compare the computed mean or, or your estimated mean uh, to the actual mean of the data set. So, you know, whoever had the original data, they could actually find the actual mean of it. Um, so let's show you how to do this in StatCrunch, how to find an estimated mean. Um, of course, we want to open our data up over here into StatCrunch. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. And once you click that, it'll actually open up your data into StatCrunch right here. So you can see we have our classes and then we have our frequencies. Now, if we want to find a mean for this frequency distribution, um, and you can also find standard deviation as well, um, what we want to do is go up here where it says stats. We want to go to summary stats like we did for mean and median and mode um, and all the other descriptive statistics too. But go down here where it says grouped bend data. So bend data is another way StatCrunch talks about classes. So we want to pick this type of data. Now our bends are our temperature column. The class it's basically your classes. So you know that would be your column that has your. Um, if we can expand this here, that would be your column that has uh, your um, temperature ranges like 40, 44, 45 to 49. Those things right there. And then our counts, our frequencies, basically will be in that column up there. Um, you don't have to pick anything about you know where you want to put it. That's optional. But you do need to pick your statistics a little bit lower, which ones you desire. Um, we do want mean for sure. And then, um, of course, standard deviation is also asking some problems. Uh, so you might have to use it as well. And then we want to compute from there. And then once you get your values here, you'll be able to input those or use those for your problem itself. So our computed mean will basically be 51.6 um, right there. So that's basically how you find the mean of a frequency distribution, um, kind of using StatCrunch. Um, it isn't too, too difficult to do.